Hi, my name is Ronan Cashel from IT Integrated Business Solutions and some of you might also know me through Symphony IP. Today I'm giving a screencast about how to get PHP code running in RapidWeaver. RapidWeaver provides two default template pages, the HTML page and the style text page and we look at getting PHP to run in both of these. So let's go in and add a HTML page code. I've got the code already written so in this case we're adding a header section PHP test and we've added our PHP code underneath. The PHP code does nothing exciting only looping around 10 times putting out 10 list items if we preview at this point we will see nothing, only the header section. Before we can get PHP to work we need to change the file name, the file name extension. So if we go into PHP info, click there and change from HTML to PHP and press enter, you can see in the background that we have our list of items appearing. The same thing applies in style text page with one difference. Let's again cut and paste our, our code in, but in this case we're going to remove the h1 tags and again if we preview we see all of the code appearing which is normal. If we go and change the file name extension from dot HTML to .php, you can see again there is no difference. This is the extra step that we need to do in style text pages. We highlight the PHP section, we click format, ignore formatting, and click preview, and away we go. I hope you've enjoyed this mini screencast on how to get PHP to work in RapidWeaver and I hope you'll join us soon for more of our screencasts where we're going to be showing how to interface with databases and things like that.